When you power up the unit, the front panel will display a series of different colored LED bars. The orange color indicates that the unit is powering on. The magenta color is just telling you that the unit is offline and not connected to Wi-Fi. And finally, the LED bar will change to a pulsing blue color to let you know that the charger is in setup mode and ready to connect to your mobile device. So now let's take a look at the mobile app so we can finish the setup and get the charger connected to Wi-Fi. After downloading the app, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen and can click start to begin the setup. Next click connect now and then you'll have the option to either allow or not allow the app to access your location. Click next and navigate to your phone's Wi-Fi and connect to JuiceNet. Then go back to the NLX app and the charger will search for nearby Wi-Fi connections. Once your Wi-Fi pops up, select it and enter your password and click connect JuiceNet device to Wi-Fi. The charger will verify access and then present you with a large purple check mark to let you know that the connection is complete. Click next and now you'll see the app's home screen. Next, swipe left and then click add vehicle information to tell the charger what type of car you'll be charging. You can assign a name to your vehicle and input information such as your car's VIN, battery capacity, efficiency, max driving range, charging rate and the number of phases and then click save vehicle. At the bottom of the screen there's a tab to read EV related news and if your utility company offers incentives then you can see those rewards in the last tab. Swiping left you can see the current status of your charge and swiping left once more you can see a history of all of your charges. The home page should now say standby and you are ready to plug in and charge. Alright guys so that's it we're officially installed and we're connected to the mobile app through the Wi-Fi. The installation is pretty simple as you can see um, and in the next video I'm going to be showing you an actual demonstration where we charge a Tesla Model Y using this charger and then I'm going to give you a personal review of some things that I like and what I don't like about the product. So if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to the channel. If you found any value in this video give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.